Hi guys, um, I just wake up, finish my breakfast, and then I'm going to do my morning skincare routine. I have finished washing my face. Um, weirdly, I love putting face masks um, in the morning, not in the evening. So today I'm going to put a face mask on this one. Um, ta -da! It's Fan Beauty. I already opened it because um, I. I was thinking if I'm gonna put a face mask on today, um, I'm going to put one in the fridge. It will get better effect. So I bought it at around 138, yes, 138 RMB. And then I got like one, two, three, four, five, five face masks in total. So each one is like 30 RMB. That's not very expensive, but it's not cheap either. Um, I would say it's in the middle of the market. This brand was founded by the same person, Fan Bingbing. Uh, Fan Bingbing is a huge, huge, huge celebrity in China. Was a huge celebrity in China because she got a massive uh, tax invasion scandal in 2018. And interestingly, the brand was also founded in 2018, like the same year the scandal happening. I would say that even after the scandal, the brand still developed very well. So in 2019-11, just after an hour of the sales begin, it reached 400 million sales, surpassing the total sales amount of the whole year. So you can see it still performs very well after the scandal. Fan Bingbing is very very well known for her skincare routine. She once attended a reality TV show and the hostess asked her what do you usually do um, when you stay at home and Fan says I put face masks on all the time. That's kind of true because it was like 30, 36 or 40, like nearly 40 but her skin condition still looks very well very tight, very white, florist. She also loved giving, like putting face masks on her assistants and give skincare tips to other people. So she is very well known for her skincare routine. So I'm going to try the product here. This is the first time I use it. Before, I saw so many influencers recommending it and the advertisements also showed up in my WeChat moment so I'm curious da -da -da. I can feel that there are many many exams in it I put it in the fridge last night so it feels very very cold in my hands and then I'm gonna put it on my face it's so cold Here. Okay, the mouth is a little bit small. I have a big mouth, so I need to open it up a little bit. Okay. Um, it it got a very very good smell on the face max. Uh, it's like some kind of flowers. I just feel there are so many, so many extents here. I'll put the rest on my neck. The face mask is mainly for moisturizing. And the other things that it will do is that it will calm your skin. So if if you have any redness, if if you have any red spot, you can put it on and it will kind of erase. Let's see what will happen in 15 minutes. So I'm back. The noise is very loud. Downstairs is under renovation, so bear with me. Um, I feel that it really can bite my skin color a little bit, and it's very really moisturizing. Some of the red spots it can erase a little bit, but um, I. If it's just a moisturizing mask, I don't want anything else. It's just it can moisture my skin. So you can see it's very very bright light, <laughs> right? Um, I kind of like it. At first, when Fan Bingbing launched this face mask, I thought, oh yeah, maybe it's just a one-home brand. The mask got so popular just because of 
a fan of her popularity, but right now I feel like yeah, it's kind of dumpling. Its quality is good. <laughs> so I mentioned before that even Fan Bingbing uh, got a very very massive tax invasion scandal in 2018. The brand still performed very well in 2019. Why she can achieve such great performance? One of the big reasons is that she's a very smart woman. She distanced herself from the brand because she know that the majority of her consumers will be her followers, her fans. And then she distanced herself from the brand and then allowed the brand to be more independent so the consumers won't be confined to just her followers. Followers. For, for example, me. <laughs> I'm not her followers. And, and she also worked with many big influencers, including the Mega or Mega, including the Mega Wang Hong, uh, Sherry, Shelly, and then Dong Zi Chu, Zhang Mofang. We talked, we mentioned Zhang Mofang before in an article of Simon Da Sao visiting her house, her place. So. Um, that's how she distanced herself from the brand. She also got a brother. His name is Fang Changchen. Attend a very very hot reality TV show called Idol Producer. Was picked to join a man group. It's called Nine Percent. She got so popular because she is tall. She's very good looking. She's a young idol, Xiao Xianrou. Fang Changchen got like twenty million followers on Weibo. He is kind of like a free ambassador for sister's brand. So that's another benefit for her. And then uh, maybe is very very well known for her skincare routines. She joined Xiaohongshu also very early in 2018. And at that time not many celebrities joined Xiaohongshu but before her there was Lin Yun. And Lin Yun they get many many get benefits from joining Xiaohongshu in the very first beginning uh, many brands work with Lin Yun but that's it people doesn't talk about it that much but when Fan Mingming joined Xiaohongshu it was so crazy it created such such big buzz every time she recommends something because uh, for example she said oh I use this one for my shampoo I use this one to wash my face for my cleanser that product will win out of stock so at that time Daigo was so anxious because every time Fan Mingming recommended something that product went out of stock so joining Xiaohongshu was just the first step to show her skincare routines to a wider audience and then she naturally launched her skincare brand Fan Beauty. So that's the marketing strategy about Fan Beauty. I do recommend you guys to buy it. It's really good. It's very moisturizing. I feel like it's not just a one home brand. Um, it got quality in it and yeah that's the unboxing video today and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!